This happened two years ago. I was fairly new to the world of work and I had just started working for a company. Back then at work I was working late nights and early mornings. In fact, all of us really were. Our company had a kind of rotation for this and we had to do one late shift followed by one morning shift every week. I remember leaving the late shift after 11pm on the night in question. I walked through the dimly lit parking lot back to my car, I got in and started checking my messages on my smartphone. Then suddenly a thought came to me. I wasn't sure if I had locked up upon leaving work. As I was the last one out due to the night shift, this was my responsibility. It couldn't be helped. I summoned up the energy to head back there and check. I got out of my car and headed back to work, checked and then headed back to my car. Thankfully it was locked and I must have been gone for all of about 40 seconds max. I got in and started my engine and felt a clammy hand cover my mouth. Then I felt a man's hot breath against my ear say, if you keep your mouth shut, you don't die. I couldn't speak. I was terrified in the silence. I just remember waves of panic crashing over me. My head was completely blank. I looked in the rearview mirror and nodded my head. I recognized the man behind me. He worked in the same company as me but in a completely different department. I was surprised and against his orders I asked aloud, Howard, wh why? No, the words just came out of me. I had never really spoken with him before, he was just kind of a quiet guy but I knew him and he replied, I've been interested in you since you started working here. If you don't say you're going to be mine, I'll kill you right here. Fearful for my life, I could do little else than nod in agreement. He then pulled down the lever of my seat so my seat went flat and began attempting to drag me into the back seats towards him. I screamed for him to stop. You said you don't like me, he mumbled. He was trying to pull my clothes off. I thrashed at him and I think somehow in the scuffle he hit something against the open passenger door and this gave me enough time to get free. I ran back to the company building since I had the key. I got in there and I locked myself in. I called a male colleague who left shortly after me and told him what had just happened. I know I should have called the police but I was in such a panic. Fortunately for me, my colleague was still in the area and he turned around immediately and headed back to work. With him around, I felt that I was safe to unlock the door. We went to the parking lot and searched for Howard but couldn't find him anywhere. It was at this point that I filed a police report. I was absent from work for a while and I decided to use my vacation time. I didn't want to go back there and have to talk to the gossipers. And while I was away, Howard was arrested. With this in mind, I was happy to go back to work as long as he wasn't there. I thought it was safe. When I came back to work, I was told that women were no longer going to be working the night shift alone and the company offered to help me relocate if I wasn't comfortable working there any longer. My parents wanted me to do this, but I didn't. I actually liked the job. I didn't want to let that creep make me quit my job. I wanted him to know that I wasn't scared. Plus, with him arrested, I didn't think that I had anything to worry about. My company informed me on my first day back that he had been dismissed, and that was really good to hear. The police were in touch and they advised me to keep my doors locked and the usual safety precautions. They said that a momentary lapse in concentration almost cost me my life, and they told me to ruminate on that for a while.